Hello guys, I'm Kashanas and I'm here with Chris and Matt. So those guys are obviously from Blizzard for StarCraft 2. Little short interview. And the first question would be, uh, do you think, all of you, like both of you, do you think that StarCraft 2 is a dead game? A dead game? Absolutely not. No, StarCraft 2 is uh, a game that we will be investing in far into the future. It's got a very active community, a very, very loyal community. Um, it's an important part of the esports landscape, and it's an important part of Blizzard's uh, esports portfolio games. Um, the team, I've been really proud of the team this year. They've spent a lot of time and effort moving from these big box launches into really focusing on constant content now. They've been adding content around single player, around cooperative play, and competitive play throughout the year so far, and there's more of that ahead. So absolutely not a dead game. Yeah, okay, well, and what do you think? Uh, actually, I, I agree with Chris. I mean, it's it's a really a thriving game. We've seen, uh, you know, from box to box that we release, we see the people that come in, they want to play a single-player experience, and we see the guys who are very competitive, and they play the multiplayer um, with new additions like co-op, uh, adding more single player like the missions, uh, the Nova Cover Ops, uh, doing the revamp on the ladder. We've actually seen some really strong engagement, you know, month to month, and it's actually been, it's been doing very, very well. Mm, okay, and what about the ladder maps? How do you choose them to be in the map pool for a certain season? Well, Matt, Matt actually knows specifically um, how they go through the evaluation, but in general, it's listening to feedback from the community. Um, David Kim, uh, who's part of the multiplayer balance team, um, and his crew of guys spent a lot of time playing on those maps and looking at them and thinking about strategically what would be the differences from map to map to map. Yeah, okay, and you mentioned that you revamped the whole ladder system, so uh, do, are you like content with all the things that happened? Do you think that there is an equal percentage of people in all the ranks? Um, I, don't, I don't have the breakdown as far as how all the ranks go. Uh, I know that the... Uh, Transparency into the, your MMR ranking is something that uh, people have asked for a very long time. Uh, so we're excited to finally get that out there. Um, one of the really cool things I think they've done with the ladder revamp is we've added the promotional progress bar, right? And we added more tiers to each league. So one of the complaints you'd have, like for myself, I'd be playing bronze league. That's where I'm at, and I'd be all season I'd be stuck in bronze. Now with the way the system is set up, is that I'll actually see graduations within the bronze, and so I still have this feeling that I'm moving forward, even if I'm still in bronze. Um, so far, the response has been uh, very, very positive. So uh, it's only been out freshly, so you know we'll keep an eye on it. But uh, so far, everyone's really loving it. And what about the recent changes? Where you what triggered those balance changes that uh, we, we will be seeing, like about the Tempest, about the Cyclone, about all the other like characters in the game that will be changed? I, I can take that. I, David and the balance team's really been observing across the year. Um, how is Legacy of the Void impacting really the, the multiplayer balance of the game and, and the fun that you see when you watch it and play as a player? Um, really, we're happy with how diverse the type of play has been with Legacy of the Void and the new units added. Um, however, there's always there's cases where there's units that aren't being brought to play as frequently as we'd like to see. Um, and so he's and the team has really been focusing on how can we make sure that there, all the units in the game are viable. And StarCraft II, um, with each release, has taken multiple months and even years um, to up the balance and get it ready. And with the introduction of the new units that came with Legacy of the Void, we're in that process now, and it's still going to go on. I think these are great, some pretty bold, um, courageous changes to things, almost completely changing roles um, with some of the units, um, but it's great to see, and, I, and again, it's just going into test now, so the public can play it here, or, or the pros are playing it right now. We'll have it up pretty soon um, on the, online so that players can play it as well, and we'll get that feedback with those changes ultimately landing uh, after the WCS season ends towards the end of the year. So aren't you afraid that this big change, which was uh, one of the biggest, unless like uh, from releasing the Legacy of the Void, yeah. so aren't you afraid that it's going to change like a scene uh, of StarCraft 2 players? No, I, I don't think we're worried about it at all. It's actually, we've gotten a lot of really positive feedback about 
how significant the changes are as part of this balance round. Um, and I think some of that's necessary with all of the information we're getting and learning um, to work with the community and the players and the um, pro gamers and, and continue to refine the game to as perfect as we can get it. So I actually, I'm not worried about it. I'm actually very hopeful. I think it's a, it's a great thing. It's engaging. It allows the players that are playing to try some new things out. And uh, we'll probably see some changes like that next year as well. And what about esports? Are you going to uh, maybe uh, like support it more? Are you going to evolve on esports a little bit? Uh, I was going to say, actually, Chris, you're, you're a little bit more involved on the uh, as to what the esports team plans are. So, I can take it. Um, on the esports side, we've made some changes over the last couple of years, really um, trying to diversify the types types of players that are coming up in the scene. And there's been some great stories last year and this year that we're really happy about. I don't know if you watched the um, some of the the sessions last week, but we had Nee place um, third, almost. Uh, put up a good good fight against Polt and um, we're seeing foreign players, uh, North American and European players going further than they've ever gone and, and that's exciting. So um, our, we don't have any new announcements but I've been pretty excited by what we've seen over the last couple of years um, and feel like we're in a pretty good space with that. We'll probably tweak some things but largely it'll, it'll stay the same as what, what we've been doing over the last couple of years. Yeah, okay, that will be my, that will be my last question for you right now guys. What do you have to say? to our viewers? Ah, well, if you're StarCraft II fans, um, we're, we're, we're excited to be on this journey with you guys. Like you said, The Void was, a, a, was the, really the beginning of StarCraft II refining to the perfect spot that we want it to be in. Um, expect a lot more to come. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone out there who likes to support StarCraft II. Uh, StarCraft II has been uh, one of my favorite uh, IPs in the Blizzard portfolio. So uh, thank you guys for being such good fans. I um, hope to run into you one day maybe playing co-op. Yeah, thank you very much, guys, and see you next time.